IT expert and forensic investigator Coleman Ryan says it doesn't matter what type of phone you have. Android and iPhone. It happens when hackers take advantage of a popular public Wi-Fi network. They're impersonating the ATT Wi-Fi network. For any cell phone using AT&T, those devices are pre-programmed to automatically connect to the company's public Wi-Fi network labeled ATT Wi-Fi. However, Ryan says there are hackers out there creating their own Wi-Fi hotspots, labeling them, get this, ATT Wi-Fi. If your phone connects to one of those fake networks, it's game over. They're banking on your device connecting to their network to capture your information. The attackers want your email credentials because we have so much valuable information stored in our email or in our iCloud or Gmail drives. In some cases for your bank accounts and other accounts. To demonstrate how many devices are vulnerable. Well, we're just in front of a typical grocery store where you have people coming and going and their uh, phones are just jumping on here. So how do you protect yourself? You have the option to change the auto join option, but you cannot remove it. Go into your phone settings and turn off the auto join function. But in order to do so, you need to connect to an actual ATT Wi-Fi network to further protect your accounts. Enable two-step verification on any and all accounts that allow that option. And whenever you leave the home, you want to keep your Wi-Fi off. Jones is much more careful now every time she goes out in public. Whenever I leave the house, I all, as soon as I get in my car, I go ahead and turn off the Wi-Fi so I don't forget. 